So let's get started. So I'm gonna prime my eyes with the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Put this all over my eye like that and just use my little um, blending sponge and just blend this out. I need to put some chapstick on, hold on y'all. Before you hop straight into eyeshadow, you wanna just take um, a translucent powder and set that concealer in place because if you don't, you're going to um, try to blend in your eyeshadows and it's just gonna be more difficult to blend. I'm going to hop in the Morphe 35B palette. If I can get this thing open. Okay, this has been everything to me. <laughs> I love this palette so much. Um, some of the colors, like the pink and the reds, just to let you guys know, it do stain your eyes. <clears throat> um, you just have to prime your eyes really, really good, and you'll be okay. So I'm going to jump right in. Let me get my brush. Okay, I'm going to jump in the orange shade, and I'm using this as my transition color. You guys hear me say this in um, the beginning of all my videos that this is my first um, eyeshadow and I'm using this as my transition color. <laughs> um, transition colors just give you that gradient effect. You don't wanna just dive right into a dark, bold color because it's not gonna look like everything flows, you know? I love like oranges as my transition color. Okay, that is enough orange. <laughs> um, I'm going to jump in the pink right, where is it, right here. I'm gonna be putting, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be applying this pink right here into my crease. And I'm using the same brush, but it's not the same brush I use for the orange. I have a bunch of these, the um, BH Cosmetic brushes. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put this in my crease. Make sure you guys prime your eyes before you use this particular palette. And I'm really gonna bring, not bring, <laughs> I'm really gonna build this pink up, you guys. Like, I like my eyeshadows to really pop, so I'm just like, adding on and just continuing to blend it out. And I'm going to pick up the other brush that I use um, for the orange and I'm just going to blend out the edges of the pink. Alright you guys, so I'm jumping into my Anastasia palette. Um, they actually sent me out a huge PR package. So all of these eyeshadows right here are from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, I'm taking this shade and this one is called Love Letter. And I'm going to use this to deepen up the crease. Next, I'm going to cut my crease with the same e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. And I'm using this brush that came in a set with this blending brush. Um, I will find it again and leave it in the description box below. But I really love this brush. Like, I use this to clean up my eyebrows too. So, yeah. Alright you guys, so right after I cut my crease, I'm jumping right back in the palette and I'm taking this beautiful metallic blue color right here. And I am going to spray my brush first before I pick up um, this color. So let me go ahead and do that. So this is a setting spray that I'm going to be spraying my brush with. You can use any setting spray. You can use a little bit of water. Same thing. <laughs> So I'm just going to do 
do that. And as you can see, I left like a little space in between. Um, that's for the eyeliner. I don't want to bring it up all the way to the top because I'm adding blue glitter and you know it's gonna make my eyeliner not look as neat and it's gonna be more difficult to get like a perfect line so that's why I'm leaving that little space oh and the brush I'm using is the Sigma E54 brush it's the medium sweeper next I will be applying glitter and this is the glitter that I chose to use this one right here is from Certify, the NYX Glitter Primer. And apply it right in the center. So with the same Sigma E45 brush, I am going to pick up the glitter and apply it right on top. NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliner, and this one is in the shade, is it Vivid Halo? Let me see my other one. Okay, it's in Vivid Halo. And I have to get real up close to my mirror, so I had to zoom y'all in so you can see. So you guys, when I'm picking up this eyeliner, I also have a small tissue next to me to kind of like tap off some extra because if you start off with a lot, it can just get really messy really easy. So, just gonna start off with a tiny bit. Okay, if um I need to go back and fix anything else, I'm gonna do it after I do the rest of the wings, the mini wings that I'm doing today. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and I will be right back. Oh, this is my favorite look I've done so far. I love it. So now that the eyes are complete, I'm going to go ahead and start on my face routine. So I'm going to first start off by using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Hydrating Oil. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. And I'm in the shade 0910. This is my favorite foundation. So for concealer, I'm using the NYX HD concealer and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus concealer. I'm going to blend it out with the same sponge that I blended out my foundation with. So I'm also going to cream contour. I'm using Anastasia's Cream Contour Stick in Cool Earth. Looks like this. And I'm also going to be blending this out with their brush in A30. To blend out my nose contour, I'm using the Sigma P89 Bake Precision Brush. This is my favorite brush to blend out um, nose contour and to blend out concealer after I clean up my brows. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and set everywhere I apply the concealer using the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I did already mix it with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. What color should I um, put in my waterline? Should I do like a blue underneath or should I just smoke it out with pink? I'm going to use my NYX highlighting contour palette with this small contour brush and I am dipping in this shade right here and a little bit of this shade too and just um, set the cream contour and kind of bring it out a little bit more. I don't like to have like a heavy contour. Set this. Okay, so I'm going to set my makeup with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. This is their new one. So I decided to add blue on the lower lash line and I'm using the Kiss Cosmetic Luxury Eye Crayon. I really like these. They are very affordable. They are very pigmented and they don't budge at all. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply it on this side. So for my inner corner highlight, I was thinking about using this shimmery green right here, but is that doing too much? I don't know. It looks like this, like in the inner corner. I don't know. I think I'm going to try and see how I like it. And if I don't like it, I'm going to just take it off. I don't know. I kind of like it. Do you guys like it? I kind of like it. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to use this. <laughs> and line my lips with the NK lip pencil, the brown lip pencil. So I'm thinking about applying this with this. Hmm. So I decided on using the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Starfish. And then I will be applying their lip gloss in Moon Jelly. yeah this is the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video and if you did make sure to like this video comment down below what you think and subscribe to my channel for more videos I love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye